people, welcome to Leopard Point Luxury Beach Resort. A secluded place where you get to feel at home and get full sensory experiences. Privacy, exclusivity, and tranquility, it's what it's all about. Our guest today is a hospitality guru. She is determined to make this resort 100% eco-friendly and the first one in East Africa. Miss Lisa! Oh, I so know! Nice Oh my god, after how many years? I know. Look at you, you yes. never change, oh, do you? <laughs> Gorgeous as ever, younger Thank than you. ever. So nice to see Thank you. you. Welcome, welcome to Leopard Point. Thank you. We're very Thank happy you. to have you here. Thank and you. And thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Thank you. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I just can't wait for our viewers to get an experience. Right of the amazing gorgeous leopard point like it's super cool and amazing thank you so much um quick one yes could you sh tell me the history of this place how old is it how long have you guys been here well leopard point is al almost four years old okay yes mm -hmm. and uh, it's a luxury boutique resort mm -hmm. with uh, 15 rooms mm -hmm. so they're all within four villas so we have two superiors and two deluxe. Okay. Right. How many people, how many, so you have four villas, you yes. said. Yes. How many people can it accommodate in total? So at capacity, mm -hmm. we are 30 standard because of the 15 rooms. Yes. However, we go up to 40. We can ah. accommodate 40, 40 folk. Okay. Yes. So are you fully booked throughout the year? We are hoping to be fully booked throughout the year. But uh -huh. so far, so good. We can't mm -hmm. complain. We're very grateful given what has been happening in the last two years. Okay. I think we've been, you know, steady going up. All We're right. grateful. Mm -hmm. And what amenities do you guys have here? So we have each villa mm -hmm. has its, uh, well, it's fitted with its own private boat, mm -hmm. its own private kitchen mm -hmm. and private service quarter. Because okay. we do have some people that like to take the whole villa. All right. If you have a family. Nice. Right. And then so, but a villa caters for how many people? So a villa depending. So we have the villa that is a deluxe with the three rooms. Uh -huh. can go up to six people. Okay. But if you add beds, you know, baby beds and yeah. an extra bed, yeah. it can go higher up to ten. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. so, so, so we're talking about amenities. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. so we have every villa has its own pool, mm -hmm. its kitchen as I said, and own personal service quarter. Okay. In case you would like to take the villa by itself. All right. And then we also have butler services. Mm -hmm. So we can offer the food from our kitchen mm -hmm. and then we can serve you throughout in okay. your accommodation. All oh, right. Nice. We also have the common pool area which is open to the public. Mm -hmm. And then we have the small deep pool that you saw and yes. we shall be seeing it uh, later again. All right. In the jacuzzi. And the jacuzzi. Yeah. So will you take us? Yes, will you please. give us a tour? It's my pleasure. Let's go around so we can see and uh, you can also have a you know a visual idea of what I'm talking about. Nice. Yes. So breathtaking. My goodness. The view here. I want to linger here for days, I can promise you. you. <laughs> so talk to me about the space where we are right now. What, what can people experience when they're here? Right, so we, we're sta currently standing at the common pool area. Okay. Yes, uh, this is one of the guest favorite spots. You'd say it's sort of a meeting point mm -hmm. and also a melting point mm -hmm. because we, you know, we have so many guests from different backgrounds. All right. So when they meet at the common pool area, it's always yes. interesting to see people meet here yeah. and, you know, network here and meet new people. Mm -hmm. For us, that's a an added uh, incentive, right? Okay. If you look straight ahead, mm -hmm. we have the Jiko Lounge, mm -hmm. and we adjacent to it, we have the Jiko Restaurant. Mm -hmm. The lounge area is where people like to, exp you know, enjoy the sundowners. Yes. But there's also another spot that uh -huh. is one of the newest places we have here. I will show you later. Okay. Which has become the number one spot to have sundowners in really? Manili, probably even Kiliti <gasps> County. Let's say. Why is it so special? It's absolutely spectacular. It's the Ocean Restaurant. Ocean and Restaurant. And it overlooks the whole creek. Right? Mm -hmm. With turtles and just it's a whole 
It's a whole thing. Let I want to go you. there. I want to show you. So please, please we can go? Over. Yes. Ah, yes. let's do that. Yes. Guys, come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Now we are at the Jiko Lounge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a perfect spot. Mm -hmm. Let me say the number two perfect spot to have your sundown. Can I have a seat? Yes, of course, please. I want to be a lady of leisure. <laughs> As you can Just see. Just be and relax. I think you've noticed now that everything is almost fully white. This yes. is something that my director absolutely loves. Okay. And he, you know, to, to mash it up with the environmental values, you can see we have a lot of green here. Yes. And then the white just pops out. And it also gives the green a chance to pop out as well, which adds to the aesthetic value of the, of the property. Mm -hmm. um, white is something that stands for pureness and pristine. And, you know, um, the color white, when you think of the color white, you're thinking of clouds and something airy and nice. Refreshing. So Refreshing. So that's why we used and incorporated the color white okay. into the into the property. Mm -hmm. So then, at one point, we should be enjoying a cocktail. <sighs> if I could apply to, yes. to one okay. later on when we finish going around the property. All right. So let's go up, and I can show you the Ocean Restaurant, which is is really truly the number one spot to enjoy your sundown. Let's do that. In So, welcome to Ocean Restaurant. Uh -huh. This restaurant is built on the creek that overlooks the ocean. Nice, right. breathtaking, and stunning views. Oh you. my goodness. Yeah. To be honest, I feel very grateful to be in this kind of environment. Yeah. Um, you know, coming here, well, sometimes I like to sit at that spot, which is a turtle view point. Uh -huh. Is that a plunge pool? That's a plunge pool. Uh -huh. So you can have your champagne breakfast there or your sundown of champagne. Oh, wow. And you can overlook uh, the ocean. And nice. when the tide is high, yeah. you get to see turtles. What? It's absolutely spectacular. I urge nice. anyone to have a chance to, to come wish and you see were it. here. I don't yeah. wish you were here. Isn't it isn't just amazing here in Germ? I love it. I think it's so stunning and incredibly beautiful. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. So I mean, being built on the creek, uh, you can imagine, we as a resort have to take care of what is the, our selling point, which is this beautiful nature that we see around us. Yes. And by doing so, we decided, we sat down as a management team with the directives of our, our boss, our director, mm -hmm. to make it, to work towards becoming completely eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. And so as we go on, I will explain to you some of the things that we have done mm -hmm. uh, over the, the last year to move towards this. Because in the end, uh, luxury, true luxury is eco-friendly. Yes. And that's where the future is going. Yes. So we are currently, the reason that it's so green mm -hmm. is because we recycle our water. It's okay. rejuvenated and then it comes back from from what we use in the resort. It's recycled and comes back to water the gardens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, that is one way for us to save water. Okay. And the products, the amenities that we have inside the rooms yes. uh, come from uh, Arga. Mm -hmm. Arga is a product of fully eco-friendly mm -hmm. shampoos, conditioners, you know, mm -hmm. just all that good stuff that you need in your room when you yes. come to a luxury place like this. Yes. And uh, the initiative behind it is also very exciting okay. because proceeds of that go back to supporting the women in, in the arid areas mm -hmm. where is where the product comes from. Oh, nice. So we're also working with other companies that have the same vision and mission, okay. right? Okay. So we come together and try and make uh, the product as luxurious as possible mm -hmm. with the least carbon footprint okay. and I think we're doing a very good job mm -hmm. because at, in the end of this year hopefully yes. we will be the first fully eco-friendly beach resort in East Africa mm -hmm. because you're eating clean you know you're living clean you understand how you're giving back to nature so it's a feel-good uh, energy all around mm -hmm. and how we ensure that happens is that we move slowly slowly step by step there's a lot of education that needs to be done we educate ourselves as well as the staff so again the, the villas are private okay. you've seen the way they're fenced off so you yes. wouldn't even know once you go inside you're like in your small bubble okay. right uh -huh. and people wanted social distancing that was the word that was going around all oh, right right and we actually never just shouted about it it's sort of 
metamorphosed very naturally and again incorporating the eco-friendliness of it all yeah. because there was a hustle and bustle and the chaos people are scared afraid what is happening what's not happening and when you enter and i think you can support me in this yes yes there is a wellness to the Agreed. property there's Agreed. a quietness there's a security a safeness yeah it's very tranquil yeah. it's relaxing exactly. it's very cozy yeah it's very peaceful too it is it yeah. is yeah. yeah and you don't feel overwhelmed by so much i like the fact that there's so much um, space in every place where you don't feel like you're crowded exactly. and overwhelmed by other people. Yeah. So I like that about the place. Yeah. 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 I'm Kalama, the barman of Leopard Point. I like the resort. Today we're going to make a magic cock cocktail, and that's Cuba Libre. Yep. Coca-Cola. Madam, enjoy your Cuba Libre. Yay, thank you. This is all about magic. Thank you so much, Kalawa. just blissful <laughs> and I'm here with the gorgeous Lisa and <laughs> oh, so pleasant it's incredibly amazing um, I just want to know who is Lisa for the sake of our viewers because you know we just I just met you I know you personally but I want to give a give us a little bit about who you are and um, how did you end up being here at a leopard point Right. Well, thank you so much again for visiting us. Yes. We are so excited to have you here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, thank you. Well, so Lisa is. Um, I am a, a mom. Mm -hmm. I am a wife. Mm -hmm. I am a daughter. I am a granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I am a friend. Yes. Uh, so many things. Okay. In that respect. Yeah. Uh, which I'm extremely grateful for. Mm -hmm. But uh, at Leopard Point, I'm the Assistant General Manager mm -hmm. and Guest Relations. Guest Relations. Yes. What's your background? So my background is basically, I started out in marketing. Mm -hmm. And before that, I was in human resources. Mm -hmm. And then I just literally took a sharp shift and went to service, so hospitality. I did my hospitality training in Doha. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was about nine years back. Mm -hmm. And then I came back into the country. I started out with safaris in Laikipia, mm -hmm. and then I ended up at uh, this gorgeous resort, Lucky Point. I see. Yeah. Um, there's something about this place that has a lot of, I've, I've, I've hardly seen any plastic here. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are big on conservation and I know you've played a big role in it to make sure that this place um, meets the expectation of the guests 
and the standards. Um, why are you so passionate about conservation? Well, I am, I'm, I've always been passionate about conservation. I remember also just as a, as a young kid, I was very big on just keeping my space very clean. You know, outside when I'm playing, I was, you know, playing with other kids, would play football or whatever it was. And then after I'd pick up the trash, it was just in me. I didn't know why. I think I watched my mother doing that for so many years. So yeah. then I just sort of encompassed it in my daily life as well. This place could be perfect if it was the first uh, beach, luxury beach resort in East Africa. But if you add the word eco, it would be the first fully eco-friendly beach resort in East Africa. Have you guys achieved that? So we're at uh, around, let me say, 75%. Mm -hmm. We are well on our way there. Okay. So we, like I I'd mentioned before, we recycle our water. So whatever water is wasted or goes to the waste is recycled and it waters the garden. Nice. So we have zero waste with respect to that. Mm -hmm. Also with regards to job opportunities, we sometimes have like a Kibarua. We have boys come mm -hmm. and they come collect the trash from the, from the beach mm -hmm. and whatever is plastic is taken to Nima for recycling. Great. So we're already doing those things. Awesome. But we're going deep mm -hmm. with regards to solar power okay. and then to also make the first electrical cars in That is in so Malibu. interesting. How are you guys going to do that? Right. Yeah. So, so, I mean, again, this is just on our way yes. to be 100% eco-friendly. Okay. So, and, and I think you can understand when you're walking through the property, mm -hmm. the wellness that you already experience mm -hmm. when you feel that, you know, it's not too gaud, it's not too much. Yes. Everything is very minimal, clean, you know, you use what you need. We're not you know, over the top, but yeah. we remain very luxury because that's something people also tend to forget. Yeah. That if you're eco, that you cannot be luxury. And I think we have been proving people wrong now for the last one year because mm -hmm. that's when we started the project mm -hmm. and so far so good we are, we are grateful for this awesome uh, why are you so passionate you, you're speaking with uh, so much passion <laughs> so much energy right. you own this you know it feels like you own this place well uh, well i wish i owned this place i mean look at the <laughs> the property but yeah. uh, let me the reason I'm so passionate mm -hmm. is because I've seen what can what can be done. I've seen, you know, also with regards to COVID, all the things you could avoid if you only took care of our environment, right? And um, I remember talking to my director as well, which is something that was already in his mind. And I told him, you can imagine if, you know, Malindi had a small school, like a vocational school or a holiday school mm -hmm. where the children, underprivileged children can come in <laughs> and they learn uh, biology, you know, um, microbiology, oceanography, um, just all, all the things they can do to take care of the ocean, of their environment. Yes. And we just sparked the conversation. It was actually a vision that we actually met in between. Mm -hmm. So he had been thinking about it in a different way. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, two heads are better than one. When you're thinking and you're incorporating ideas, you sort of have a, a level playing field. And yeah. that's where we are right now, okay. working towards that project of, of having this generation mm -hmm. learn how to take care of the environment, mm -hmm. which is a, is a huge ROI. It's right? absolutely amazing. Yeah. You yeah. guys are educating children, yeah. young children, young generation on how to take care of environment. I think that's a big deal. What inspired um, your director to build this incredible property, by the way? Right, so I think what inspired him, based on all the conversations we've had, is uh, just the environmental value. You know, he's very well traveled, but when he came to Kenya, he just said he felt something different about this town, about the people. And so he knew immediately he wanted to come here and invest, you know, and live out his retirement years here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was the best decision because so many people work here and are, are fortunate enough to take care of their daily life because of their Oh. So cool, and, and you're also providing em um, employment yes. to the locals, yes. and you're training them. Exactly. You're big on training yes, your are. local, especially on conservation. Yes, we are. That's so cool. 
something you don't know about this lady. Many years ago, she was a top model and today she is here. I just bumped into her. I didn't even know she's a manager here, managing this place, running it, you know, like a boss lady. And the last time I saw her, I saw her on screens, print media, you know, as a top model. And I'm like, Lisa, what are you doing here? You know? And the last I checked, she was such an introvert. Um, talk to me about oh. this, Lee. Oh, so oh, please, the Lisa Palmer, Miss Lisa Palmer, <laughs> talk to me about this. Oh, how the times have changed. Please pass, let's have a drink. Okay. And let's toast to Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming. To life. And then we get to that. Yes. <laughs> What are the other experiences that people can do here? What else can I, when I come here, what should I expect? At Leopard Point, we have a fully fledged spa with well-trained staff. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, at some point you will go to sea. Okay. We'll complete with the proper mood showers. Nice. So it's absolutely stunning. Wow. And okay. then we offer excursions as well. So if you want to take the boat to Watamu, or you want to go for fishing, we have that as well. Okay. We also work very closely with the golf club of our clients <laughs> that like to go play golf. So there's lots to be done when you're at Leopard Point. You can't get bored and then complete with the really fun stuff, you know. But there's also, I saw big screen. Do you guys have like movie nights there? Mm -hmm. We have movie nights, so on request. Uh -huh. But sometimes also when we're, you know, we just us and nobody has requested, we do put uh, like safari channels. And I think you can see some of the, you know, little bits of uh, telltales that you have of animals and animal print. Mm -hmm. It's something that we try to incorporate as well. Okay. Because here is a beach, right? And then we have beach to bush experiences because we do do packages as well. So we, when, when somebody comes from the Mara, they still see bits and pieces of that here. Okay. It doesn't mean we can't do it just because we're at the beach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's been an incredible experience just being here at Leopard Point Beach Luxury Resort. And I want you to come here, inhale and exhale, recharge, revitalize yourself because the team here have personalized services. It's such a signature for them that will leave you wanting for more. Make sure that you go to their page and book yourself a holiday here. You will not regret it. And if you do, call me. Thank you for watching.